Get turn two, chop right. chops. And give us your impersonation of the disappearing man. Get that, so they put the gangway down. Whoever you are and whatever oh, you're doing, oh. I'd like you all to join me in prayer this evening. Jesus, it must be Sunday. He's still at it. His tannoy is going off all over the boat. Probably talking to himself, when he? Has he no this evening? Do you think he's had a look? As far as I'm concerned, it's been five weeks or no. It's been five weeks of hell. I should know what this boat is, ultimately. Black steel coffin. I don't want to think about it. It's about time we all did. Above us, thousands and thousands of tons of water. We might as well be inside an egg. Now how easy it is to crack an egg. I mean, we're Britain's first line of defence. It's got to be a joke. Fact is, we are. What's the point of going to sea for eight weeks? Polaris is totally obsolete. That's why Mrs. T is spending eight billion pounds. You should keep all your crackpot ideas to yourself. I hope the wardroom speaks. How safe are we anyway? Completely. Oh, really? You heard of the thresher? Disappeared in 1963, 200 miles out of Boston. Scorpion? She was found in millions of tiny pieces spread all over the seabed. One thing about nuclear boats, no one's ever lived to tell the tale. You are a morbid little bugger cockle. We don't know how many the Russians have lost, but we do know that about 50 miles off the coast of Scotland, there's a little pocket of radiation coming from the seabed. So keep your kids off the fish fingers, how's he? Could be contaminated. You're talking through your ass, Roach. There hasn't been an accident on a British nuke. There's been enough on ordinary boats. Remember the fetus? Yeah. That was before the war. Well, that's no excuse. 99 men trapped and four escaped. And the Navy learned by that. That's why we had fetus clips. Look, well, everyone knows how it happened. The balls up was. Why weren't those men rescued? They couldn't find them, could they? What? The stern was sticking out of water. It still took them 17 hours. Then they sat around and waited for the poor sods to escape by themselves. They were only dead. It was the balls up. They should have saved them. You could be on a subversion charge. For knowing too much. For talking too much. Hey, would they throw me out? After they'd locked you up? Then what's all this niggling you're handing out? You're beginning to get up my nose. Oh, am I? I never used to, but then you needed my help. You're full of shite, Roach. Going for a breath of fresh air? How's he? I'm worried about Alzi. He's been like a bear with a sore head. He'll be all right. It's the exam. That'd be past, is it? Do you reckon he will come? Yeah, I'll make sure of it. Oh, that's decent, yeah? He's going places he doesn't want to go. He's going. Just as long as he appreciates what you're doing for him. It'll be a secret. I'm good at keeping them. Oh. I'm lying on my bunk. Staring up, thinking about all that water. It's enough to drive you around the twist three more weeks of it. How many of these patrols have you done? This is a fourth. Yeah, you're an old hand at it. Has it worried you before? Not really. So it's uh, building up, getting worse. Yes, yeah, something like that. Hi, oh, I get so restless. I'm going to try exercising, Spider. It's not only physical; it's mental discipline as well. What would you flog in your body, and how's he flogging his mind? There's enough discipline in this mess already. What I need is fresh air, not yesterday's fire. It's recycled. Exercise. Get it out of the system. Skip in and get help. What I want to see is daylight. Feel the wind. Yeah, yeah all that. The, the sun, some blue skies, for Christ's sake. Blue skies? This time of the year, you've got to be dreaming. It's thermal underwear time up there. Do you know what I mean? Maybe you're right. Anyone got any Adobe dust? In the top of my locker. Ah, cheers. It'll cost you. Could I buy your new pack of cards? Yeah, was that? Yeah, not bad. Not bad, that was terrific. I get so restless. How safe are we? I want to see daylight. I'm going mad, I tell you, sir, don't my hand. Look how it shakes, see? And at night it's worse, I have to gag myself not to scream eggs. Yeah, well, that's the next stage. When? When you've got an audience. Witnesses. When I say the word. We got time for rehearsal. Well, Splash will be back. Quick one. All right, quick. Now look, I'll get the atmosphere right with the story, okay? And your cue will be when I say, hasn't it got cold all of a sudden, right? Then pause, and you're off, okay? 
Doesn't it go cold all of a sudden? Pause. Oh, oh, so I said, give it the works when you do it for real. Sorry, I got carried away. Oh, oh is that better? Look, um, roll around a bit. Hey, roll around. Scare me. Uh, I've got to get off this boat. I'm going mad. It's pooped up down here. Right. I've got to get off this boat. I'm going mad. Pooped up down here. It's better. It's better. Get me off. 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 No, 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 no. You're spoiling it. Hey, you sound like a record that's stuck. But you're supposed to be going mad, okay? Yeah. What you? Go bananas. What? Conscious, all right? Anyway, cook. No, don't worry, I'll do it. Well, why can't I just run out and lock myself in the head? Look, where's your sense of drama? You have to be knocked out. Look, we'll tie you to your bunk, then the doctor come in, give you an injection which really will knock you out. Hey! Next day you wake up not remembering what happened and full of fears as a cinch. Oh, I don't know, cock. Look, it's too late for half measures. Look, let's not lose our heads about this. I wonder about you, cock. You go on as if the way it is down here's already got the you. The only sane person on this boat. Could have fooled me. I know. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. Evening, chaps. Is it? I'll take the chef's word for it. I've just eaten Burf's Trucano, so it can't have been breakfast. Now, huh. I've got my um, postman's hat on, as it were, at the moment. There's a family gram for you, Chief. Thank you, sir. And one for Chief Hartman. Is he about? Somewhere, sir. He's always make you feel uneasy. You know what I mean? It can only be good news. It's no news. What can you say in 40 words? It's the thought that counts, Chief. Now, young Roach, how are you getting along? Oh, I'm uh, wrestling with my conscience, sir. Hmm. Time for another chat, eh? I've <laughs> been meaning to get back to you. I'll just leave that. Now, don't forget, tomorrow night is quiz night. I'm uh, making some cocoa, sir. Would you like to stay for a cup? Yes, sir. Stay. Make you sleep like a top. That's thoughtful of you, Chief, but I... Gotta finish my run. Well, come back when you finish that. I shall. Thank you. I, I just pop these in and be back in a brace of shades. While he's drinking his cocoa, I'll tell the story of the affray. At the end of it, go bananas. Oh, I don't know, God. You sure it's not too soon? First night nerves. Do it. The perfect opportunity. The reactor tunnel is now open. I can read between these bloody lines. It's not what she says that gets me. She don't see. More reason, Spider. She really hates it up there. She can't drive a course, so she's stuck in a marriage patch all the time. She hates leaving the house. How bad is it? Yeah. The doc says she got agoraphobia. Oh, you really should do something about it. Just as soon as you get off here. So make you convince her. Go, go up, tea. There's a family gram for you, Azzy. We've got a guest coming, so it smiles all round. The vicar. What's the news about the house? We lost it. At least you can't blame you for it. Oh, a sinful point of we too. If only you'd been here, it wouldn't have happened. I can hear already. How could you do it to me? Do what? Make me feel guilty down here. But don't worry about it, Alsie. Have a cup of ghost cocoa. Come. Cheers. I think you'd mind up with troubles, cop. Tell him a bedtime story. Okay. You want to hear a story, Azzy? Please yourself. Don't you splash. Why not? All sitting comfortably. I'll begin. Now, this one doesn't knock the Navy, Azzy, so I'll get up your nose. Happened in 1951. A submarine left Portsmouth on a routine training exercise, and the plan was to be away for three days. And she'd been at sea a few hours when she signaled she was diving. That was the last that was heard of her. Ah! Here's your cocoa, sir. So I was turning the mess about a fray. Oh, tragic business. Yes, I'm a man. Oh, go on, to a cocoa. Chapel, what happened next? Do you mind, sir? You will carry on by all means. Very little ever came to life. She just vanished. Mm. She was due to surface the following morning and signal, but she didn't. 
Frigate Sea Search ever got underway, but it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. She could have gone down anywhere in the channel. Search went on, but nothing. Not survivor, wreckage, marker boy. They kept looking though, didn't they, sir? Oh, yes, yes, the search went on for months, I believe. Two months, sir, two months, and then they found her. Yes, and the remarkable thing is that she was 30 miles off course in the vicinity of the Channel Islands. That's right, near Alderney. Alderney, that's it. What was so strange was there was no sign of damage. Hatches were closed, no one tried to escape. Why? No one will ever know, because she's still <sighs> down there. 75 bodies in an iron tomb. Oh, we are allowing your imagination to run riot, lad. Just think about it. 75 men waiting to die, unable to do anything about it. Must have been quick. God in his mercy would have seen to that. It takes a long time to die when there's nothing to do but wait for it to happen. That's enough! Something on an authority on naval mishaps, are you? In fact, I am, sir. I've specialised in disasters. I've read everything available. What I'd give to read the Admiralty files. They're locked away forever, though, aren't they, sir? Well, I don't know. But if they are, you can be sure it's for a good reason. So no one will ever know why those men died. I wonder what it looks like on the affray now. Floating skeletons, I expect. Roach! It got cold all of a sudden. This will warm us up. But it is cold all of a sudden. This is the captain speaking. We are in a red alert situation. Repeat, red alert. I want everyone's attention. I have just received a priority signal from NATO headquarters informing me that a prototype missile, UVU-4, has gone out of control in our vicinity. Superior is the nearest vessel to its present position. We will be there first and wait for a salvage team to arrive. An undreamed of opportunity for the NATO allies. Hands to emergency stations. Take it down to 300 feet. Chief Petty Officer Gordon reports to wardroom. Maximum revolutions. 